How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome to another sneaker review. Now today I'm going to be giving you a two-part review of the Nike Air Max 90 Desert Ore, the most recent and possibly the last collaboration between Nike and Off-White. Guys, I won these on the Nike Sneakers Pass system, which was so great to see this pop up on my phone screen. So 160 plus tax in Atlanta came out to about 174 and the colors read Parachute Beige and Bright Mango. So let's get into the shoes. Most of the off-white sneakers are monochromatic, meaning they're comprised of mainly one color. And this one, they went with this parachute beige or tan color for the outsole. And then moving up above the midsole, you've got this parachute beige or tan suede. You've got a blank heel tab covered in the same tan parachute beige suede. And while this isn't the best suede I think they've ever put on a sneaker, it's not terrible either. The toe box is outfitted in this mesh material surrounded by an unfinished raw edge look. And the highlight of the sneaker to me is the swoosh. This bright mango swoosh really makes the sneaker pop and has a little bit of a gloss to it as well. Then you've got this TPU or soft rubber material around the eyelets for reinforced structure. The tongue is done in traditional off-white fashion, tightly woven, raw edge, and the Nike sportswear tag stitched onto the side of the tongue. These are details that I've liked since the beginning of the off-white collaboration and you can tell Jordan brand and Nike know that it's popular because they're throwing this raw edge and sideways tag look on just about any sneaker that they can. Okay guys, if you heard me at the beginning of the video, I want to make this a two-part video and see what you guys think. I've been working on a new portion of my sneaker review videos and it's going to be titled, Are They Real Though? Basically, I want to highlight and address the issues of real versus fake sneakers. I've had my own issues in the past and just want to help you guys be able to legit check a pair before you purchase. So without further ado, let's get into the first edition of Are They Real Though? Let's start with the box. Make sure that your box label looks exactly like this. Exactly, to a T. The font, the sizing, everything. I know one thing the fake boxes have a hard time replicating. It's this perforation between the box label and the price tab, so check for that. Make sure the alignment of your box label is near perfect. I have seen some that are a little higher, a little lower, but it should be near perfect. And then check the font on the side of the box. If it's fake, it's going to be a lot more bold or a lot larger, whereas it should look exactly like this. The Nike boxes, guys, are well made, so if the box has a lot of creases in it, especially the lid, you need to be wary. I mean, it is possible to damage the box, but for the most part, they should be in excellent condition. Inside the box lid, you should have a quality control sticker on the inside. Yours might not have the same number, but it should look like this. And then you've got a Nike stamp also indicating that they're real. And then the third sticker that you're gonna wanna look for is inside the box, pull the paper back and look for a sticker that looks like this. These three things will help you know that your pair is real. Here's a look at the size tag, which is on the medial inside part of the sneaker. You got SZ as the factory. You've got a production date of July 10th, 2018 to October 10th, 2018. And guys, they do use multiple factories. The production dates can vary just a little bit, but this is what yours should look like. On the inside of the right shoe, you should have the extra laces attached with this font. 
Speaking of fonts, let's go over the font used on the laces. So it does say shoelaces in quotation marks, just like all the other off-whites. However, because this is a flat lace, the font is larger and it's applied on top of the laces. And what do I mean by that? It's not printed on, it's actually applied, um, probably with some type of glue, but they will be able to be felt. You'll be able to feel the texture of the letters. They'll almost seem like they could be peeled off. So it's not printed on, they're actually applied in some form or fashion. And you need to have one of these white tags right here on each shoe, left and right. You're gonna have writing under each heel tab, HO18, men's run, 747, nine to 12 and a half. That's on the back of each one. And then you'll also notice that that liner right there is not an even cut. This is an unfinished type sneaker. So they made that look unfinished. Here is what everybody loves, the infamous off-white zip tie. On the writing side, you've got a gloss finish while on the reverse, you've got a matte blue finish. Drop a comment below guys on whether or not you wear that zip tie on the sneaker. Okay guys, in my opinion, when you're talking about real versus fake off-white Nikes, this is the most controversial thing to me. And so it's these tabs that are on the Nike swooshes. Now this right sneaker tab is much shorter than the tab on the left sneaker. And I've been told that's how it's supposed to be, but you can definitely see it here. It's very obvious. And since I have a real pair, that's what I would go by. Um, the left tab is definitely taller. The corners are very squared off. They're not rounded. And, um, but you know, they're handmade. So this could vary slightly. Now let's take a look at the medial sides of each sneaker where you've got that famous off-white branding. If you notice on my pair, you've got these brown tabs that are glued over the front of each Nike swoosh. Now on my left sneaker, the letters actually overlap this brown tab, but on the right sneaker, they don't. So the positioning is a little bit different. Now this could vary on another real pair. They're not all gonna be 100% spot on. And also, if you didn't know, size will also affect the positioning of the print. So if you're comparing a size eight and a size 13, it's definitely gonna look different. It just makes sense. The, the size of the sneaker is different. So this is a size 11. So this is what you could expect for a size 11. The spacing behind the letters is different from left to right, as well as over the swoosh. All right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up my first round, first edition of Are They Real Though? You know, if you have questions, drop them in the comment section below. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about legit checking a pair, but I'm not a professional legit checker. So I just wanted to do my best to help you guys out with my reviews when I get a real sneaker in hand that I can verify. I wanna help you guys in any way possible. So. I'm not a professional legit checker, but these are some tips, some things to look for when you are purchasing a pair of these sneakers. Thank you all for tuning in to another sneaker review on my channel. If you liked the video today, please give me a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate if you left me a comment letting me know what you thought of this new sneaker review format. Subscribe if you like my content, click the notification bell so you always know when the newest video is uploaded Take it easy, guys. I'll see you on the next one.